Hey guys, Dr. Jason Barker at the Natural Athletes Clinic and today I want to do a real quick video on vitamin D, obviously a very super important uh, nutrient that we need in our bodies. And the big question is, will taking vitamin D make you a better athlete? So there's been a lot of studies, they started back in the, I think the 1940s or 50s, looking at some Russian athletes and they found that they performed better during the summer months. So that's what kind of spurred the research into vitamin D. Anyway. Vitamin D is super important nutrient. Uh, you need it to help you absorb calcium and phosphorus for bone health um, and all the way over to modulating or uh, overseeing immune function. So if you're deficient in vitamin D, you could have weak, soft bones. Obviously that's gonna create some problems for you. And then also in regard to um, your immune system, if you're deficient, you're more susceptible to getting colds and flus, other upper respiratory infections. Um, uh, things ranging over to autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and even cancers later in life. So deficiency of vitamin D is bad news for your immune system. So will it make you a better athlete? Absolutely, if you're deficient. So if you are one of the many people, and it's a lot of people, it's a large part of um, the population are actually deficient in vitamin D. So if you can supplement that can prevent these bone related issues. And certainly the you know, kind of the biggest issue that I see with endurance athletes and um, people who exercise a lot is that they get sick frequently. So there's definitely a link between too much exercise that'll make you prone to getting sick. And then you combine that with just being deficient in vitamin D, you can have a rough season. So if you work out a ton, you're an endurance athlete, you've got to get your vitamin D levels tested. Um, other studies though, let's pretend you're not deficient that you actually, um, supplement with enough vitamin D every day. There are some good studies that show that it will improve your overall recovery, kind of from start to finish of the recovery process. And then also it'll reduce post-exercise muscle weakness. And so that's obviously gonna be a big benefit to you too if, you're, um, if you've got maybe some mid-ranging vitamin D levels and you add a little bit extra in. Now, word of caution, you can't gobble tons of vitamin D. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, so it will store in your body it takes a lot to overdose on it but still um, you know more is not always better you want to find the right dosing and i think that around three to five thousand units a day is probably adequate to get that blood level around 50 nanograms per deciliter that's what we like to see and we find that that provides our athletes with a good um, you know a good healthy immune system that's not deficient or overactive and certainly keeps their bones strong so hope that helps you out uh, check out the website, and we've got lots of more info on there. Thanks for watching. See you later.